Uh, I have a, a broom here. Uh, I need to do a little tidying up afterwards, so I've got this handy, ready to go. But one thing that is always kind of fun with, uh, with objects like this is to see where they balance. And I'm going to move my fingers in to slide them in and see if I can figure out where this thing balances. So yeah, close. Right about there. So I'm going to put a mark there. And what do you think would happen if I were to cut the broom right there? Which side do you think would weigh more? The handle side or the side with the bristles? This is, it's balanced here. What do you think? Probably getting all kinds of different answers coming in. Let me check. Should we? I'm an experimentalist. You ready? I just happen to have a saw handy. So let's cut this broom handle and we'll see which one is heavier. In the name of science, it's important. We'll sacrifice our broom handle. So our, uh, our uh, little uh, force gauge isn't quite big enough to measure this, but we have our own uh, that we use to measure things like that. It works exactly the same way as the one you make in your kit. And so uh, what I'm gonna do is hang the, uh, the handle on there. And let's see how much the handle weighs. What is that? One Newton? That goes back to zero. So one, one Newton. And I have a little hook on the corner here. And we'll hang that on there. Four, four Newtons. So this one is quite a bit heavier, isn't it? So can you see why that is now? There wasn't much weight out here at the end of the broomstick. But look how far away it is. Look at the leverage it had. The little weight out here needed a big weight in here close to keep it balanced. That's all about leverage. And when you're trying to lift something heavy, you want to use that to your advantage. You want to use a big lever arm <clears throat> so that a small force on one side creates a big force on the other side. Leverage. <clears throat>